Hey, so wait a minute. Listen, don't say that I don't read the comments because listen, I read all the comments in Sunday's drop. Everybody talked about they want to know how I made the, you know, bacon jam. Hey, this one is for y'all. Let's get it. All right, look, I really got to show you guys the ingredients. I usually don't fly, uh, fly over them like this no more, but I just want to sh show you. It's not a whole lot to it. A couple packs of bacons. You got onions. You got some ingredients right here. Y'all all know what this is. But this right here is going to be where I separate myself from anybody else that's out there making it. Unless they're using this product. This is by Branson Vine. Look, this is that. Read that right there, folks. That's that hickory balsamic, right? This right here gives it that little bit of a smoky hickory flavor. All right, so look, I got my pan right here. Look, it's coming up to temp, right? This is what you want to do. You want to cut this down. It's best if you leave your uh, bacon in the refrigerator, you know what I mean? So it can be nice and it makes it a little bit more rigid, right? For those of you guys that do a little trimming, you know, when anything is room temperature, it becomes a little bit more, you know, I guess I would just say almost like it has a slimy type, you know, slippery texture, right? So if it stayed in the refrigerator long enough, when you cut through like, especially this piece right here, when I cut like that, you can see once it starts to warm up, it gets a little bit hard and it helps to have like a sharp knife, right? So put that off to the side, get my next batch. All right, so we got the first pack done. I don't worry about separating them or nothing like that. So when you grab them, you put them in there. Don't forget, this bacon is gonna render a lot of its own fat. I probably should have said this earlier, but you wanna go ahead and get yourself, you know, like a, a mason jar so you can save that fat. This is the start of cooking something great. Okay, so now that I got it, you know, got everything in here, right? I don't worry about these little pieces like that because listen, it's gonna all cook down. The main thing what you want to do is when you have them cut and they small and you didn't separate them, you just want to you want to make sure you got maximum cooking surface, you know, to your bacon, right? So that's why I'm doing this, spread them out so they can all touch. I don't want them to not only steam, but I want them to like cook. They're gonna render their fat, and we're gonna go from there. So this is the color you want to look for. I don't take them all the way down where they're super crispy. And don't forget, you know, it's bacon, right? So that means when I stop, it's going to still continue to cook a little bit, you know? So that's about as far as I go. Then you want to get yourself like a paper lined, uh, you know, plate. And I want you guys to notice, look, this is a paper plate. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm the one to do these dishes here, so I got to do it like that. Just every now and then, you know? So now I'll just get everything like this. I'm not going to bore you. Let me get this emptied out, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that grease. Okay, so again, just like a little recap so you guys can see, color is important, and this is not really crispy, you know what I mean? It might look like it's starting to get that way, which it probably just is, but this is what I like, even for the little pieces like that. You'll see why in just one second. I'm going to go ahead and prop this so that I don't have to hold it, and then I'm going to take all of my bacon grease and go ahead and put it in here. Okay, so this is what I got out of it. Just to show you that I'm true to the game, I just had a lot from the last time that I made it in the video you guys just watched from that 50-50, right? But this is it. So look, if I come back in here, I just want to take a couple of tablespoons and just leave that in there. Just enough to, you know, kind of like get it started. Uh, let's just make it three because I got a big, you know, a big pan. Okay, so look, I diced down my onions. I'm going to go ahead and move them like this so you can see. The key is here, you want to dice them down small, right? So you see this right here? That's what you want. Let me go ahead and get these in. And if you just watch me, I, I don't clean my pan once I do it. You know, whatever, uh, whatever little bit of fine that was left in there, don't worry about it. If anything happened to stick from the to the bottom, you know, the acidity from the onions, it'll help pick that right up. Okay, so you see how far I went down with the onions? That right there is what I would like to do. You know what I mean? I don't want to take them down no further. And then if you notice, I'm going to show you right now. I'm getting my press ready because we're going to come with the garlic. So we just put this on top. Now I'll just add the rest of my ingredients, right? And then last but not least, just that branch of rind, that balsamic, and it's the hickory flavor. This right here is what separates this from the rest. Now I gotta be honest with you, you know what? You can use just regular balsamic. But if you know everything that I do on my channel, I try to find a way to like just send it way up over the top. And I, you know, that right there is the one main ingredient that I put in mine that just separates mine from the rest. Now, I just keep moving this around like you see. You know what I mean? We want to get a certain consistency because remember it's, it's called bacon jam. So we're just going to cook it. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. We're going to let it kind of like simmer and thicken up. 
then I add that half a cup. Look, that's that brown sugar. That's what's going to set it off. You know what I mean? With the heat. You see? Oh, yeah. All right, so now that I got these cut down a little bit smaller, you can see more, more like resembling like a, uh, I'll say like a bacon bit, right? It's okay, they're not all the same sizes, but you guys can see that. Now look, just take it. I'm gonna use the back of the knife. I don't know why I'll be scraping my knife like that. You know what I mean? But we just take the back and then we just wanna get all of our, you know, all of our pieces inside. Then you guys know, nothing else better to do or nothing else to do, let me just say it that way, than to just mix it up. Now you can see how it's supposed to look, right? Look at how it thickens up. Now I'm gonna let this cook under, you know, like a medium low heat for about five minutes, right? But the main thing is we want this to be more like jam. Okay, so look, if you guys come in here and take a look at this right here, look, look at that right there. That's what you guys saw. You see it's nice and thick. And then as it sits up, you know what I mean? Uh, when you put it in the refrigerator, it's gonna, you know, just adhere a little bit better. You know what I mean? So now I'll just go ahead and put it in here. And then I'm gonna tell you guys some of the applications you can use it for. Obviously, you guys seen that I did it, you know, you know making it on a sandwich, on a hamburger, you know what I mean? Uh, this would level it up, you know, like big time. Another thing you can do is you can put this on, you know, like biscuits. I got some biscuits behind me. And just go ahead and put some of this on here. I don't know if you guys can see, look at that, that's nice and hot. When I tell you they good on biscuits, folks, they good. Only thing missing is I could have like drowned this with a, you know, a little bit of butter, you know? But then just put it on there, take the back and just spread it out. Hey, you know, I don't know really what to say. All I can tell you is, listen, for all you guys that saw it on the burger, you know what I mean, uh, and really wanted to see this recipe, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what would you put it on? Now, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna give you some suggestions and then I want you guys to let me know what you're gonna do it with. Or even if you make it like later, come back and talk to me because I'm interested in finding out what you do. So check it out. We know burgers, uh, we know sandwiches. Here's one for you. You can do a grilled cheese with this on it and this right here, just level that up. And if you really wanna do something outstanding and leave them out there with a fork drop, go ahead and do a grilled chicken sandwich and put this on there like that and then you tell me. Now. If you guys are new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm about to put these on some more biscuits, and I'm about to sit down and watch some TV, and I'm out. Peace.